hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite Christmas movies. I talked about my like favorite songs in a recent video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description box down below. And I thought, you know, why not? Let's talk about some of my all-time favorite Christmas movies because I love all the season if you guys already know that about me. And my family, we always would watch, you know, Christmas movies every year. And there's some that we absolutely love, love, love. And the sad part is, you guys, my husband is like bah humbug. He's a Scrooge. He's the Grinch. And he doesn't really care. He's like, I've seen them. I don't need to watch them every year. Whatever. And he doesn't really care about Christmas. So that's not for me. But I watch them. Either way, and you know, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas on Christmas movies that you guys may still need to watch or want to watch. So, let's just hop on in into the video because you know, I can ramble on and talk forever and I don't want to make this video very, very, very long. So, let's just Alright guys, so the very first movie that I'm going to be talking about is one of my favorite movies and it is Elf. Who doesn't love Elf? Elf is such a fun um, energetic, like, I feel like, like a classic nowadays, um, movie for you to watch in the holiday season. Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell is amazing in that movie, the Mary Stein version, um, oh my god, what is the dad's name? I don't know that, the dad's name, and, um, and then it's got the girl from, um, New Girl in there, what is her name? I am blanking out right now, I'm gonna look up a New Girl. Um, and that movie is so good. I love it. I love it. He's like, Santa, ah, I know him. And he's like freaking out. He loves Santa. He knows Santa and he thinks he's like the real Santa. He doesn't know that like department store Santas are not the real Santa. And he troubles in the snow and the campaign forest. And he goes and he meets, you know, his dad in New York City. Which I'm like, how the heck did he walk from the North Pole to... New York City, um, because if I could walk from Texas to New York City, I do it, and from Texas to Washington, I do it, um, but, you know, it's such a heartwarming story, I feel like, in the end, because, like, his dad comes around, and is like, screw you, to his boss, and goes and finds a buddy, and, I don't know, I didn't love that movie, and I, fun fact, you guys, my dad went and saw that movie in the theaters, and I wanted to see it so bad. And he was even like, hey, yeah, this looks like a good movie. He went and we saw it, and then we told my mom, we're like, mom, mom, you have to, you have to see this. So we went and saw it a second time in the theater with my mom, and you guys, it's just, it's just so good. I love, 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 love Elf. And another classic movie, you guys. Classic. Classic. And in my family, we're, how you say, obsessed? <laughs> is a Christmas story, and how do you not love that movie? Oh my god, the leg lamp, the fudge part, um, Ralphie, Brandy, the Santa, oh my god, the teacher, the tongue sticking in the bowl, oh my god, I you know, said Brandy and being like, I can't move my eyes <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I literally, I am obsessed with the movie, me and my dad love the movie so much, I... I cannot even tell you guys how much we were like obsessed with this movie. We, me and my dad can probably literally, I'm not joking, we find the entire movie so great. You know, um, he's like, you use them all the glue on perfect. And then he's like, put a finger on it. You guys, and when Randy, or not Randy, when Ralphie like blames his cussing on his learning from his friend, when we all know you guys that he learned it, from his dad, like, hello, his dad worked on the furnace, and he uh, sent the bad word down there. A lot. <laughs> In the beginning of the movie, so like, hello, he learned from his dad, not for shorts, just saying, but you guys, if you've never seen a Christmas story, you have to watch it, you can just have to watch it, you guys, there's even, you can even go to the house and like, stay in it if you want it, or like, visit it and tour it, which is like, on my bucket list, I will check that on one day, even if I'm like 75 and it's still a thing. It's like 50 plus years from now. <laughs> but I love that movie and it's 
so just heartwarming and funny and I love it. I I absolutely love it. And another movie you guys that was revamped um, in the 90s, but in the 90s version is my entire favorite version. In Mary Home 34th Street. And you guys, little girl in that movie. Fun fact, you guys. Fun fact. Find Brothers and Payment, FBE, here on um, YouTube. Did a reaction video with her. Um, for Matilda, you can also look around Matilda, the little tiny little girl in the Miracle on 34th Street movie. Also, I did the Doc at Fire, and uh, it was pretty great, and it was amazing to see how old she is now, and um, it makes me feel kind of old, because I don't know. Her being old makes me feel old. Just say. But, you guys, that movie is so good. Oh my god, one little girl in that movie, like I was talking about, is amazing. Love her. The mom in that movie, great. That whole storyline, great, and like help show the mom that you know Christmas is a great time of the year. Santa is real, or Santa is a real thing. Believing in Santa is a good thing, you guys. That movie, I don't know, just like heartwarming, and the Santa like signs the little girl in the movie and like the like sign language, like oh hey, like why? Okay, what do you want for? Christmas. Uh, you know, it's just great. I was trying to do my sign language here, you guys. I actually don't sign language, but want I don't know, for Christmas. Yeah. But um it's so amazing. I don't know, it's something about that movie that I absolutely adore and I absolutely love and I have to watch it every year. <laughs> um and I actually have it on DVD, which is great. I got it for like $4 or something I think one year, or $5, it's really, really cheap. And it's stable, a stable. And another movie classic, movie classic in the Polar Express. How do you not love the Polar Express, you guys? Oh my god, the way that movie was filmed is amazing. Uh, amazing. Is it Alan? No, it's Alan. What the heck? It's a guy that's like Woody. No, that's Tim Allen, isn't it? No, the guy in... Whatever. I do not even think you guys. It's the same guy that's in Simpsons in Seattle, I believe. When I can't tell you right now, I'm my head of that. Tom Hay! Tom Hay! So good in that movie, plays so many roles. When they put like little thingies all over their bodies and they like animate them all oh, in the movie. So great. And you know, it just shows that like, you can be a Mahambuggy, like I don't live in Santa. And then, you know, there's a gift, and he's believing, and believing in Santa, and the little kid gets the first gift of, of Christmas, and he brings his friend, and there's like, you know, the guy on top of the train, oh. and the music in that movie, and the little kid who doesn't ever get presents, and then he gets a present, and that song that he sings, and then the little girl, and you guys, and the hot chocolate part. The hot chocolate party, you guys, in my dad's like favorite part of that movie, you know, the hot, hot, ooh, we got it, hot, hot, yeah, we have it, hot, hot, ooh, we got it, hot chocolate. You know that part? Real great. Good musical number in that movie. But, you guys, Holy Brad is so cute with the story, the bug, my mom has the bug, um, and a little, like, Holy Brad Santa, and... You guys, even the polar bears turn into like an actual train. You can go in areas, certain areas have them, and you can like ride an actual train and basically reenact the polar express on them. And then you can see Santa, and I wasn't gonna do that, but I haven't. Um, but you guys, it's such a cute movie, and I love it, love it. And my final, final, final movie that I'm gonna be talking about, you guys, is probably not like a classic Christmas movie to a lot of people. Um, but I love it. And it's so great. It is Annie. And if you guys, I think that's the 90s version, I believe. Let me look at it. I mean, I gotta look at this. Let me tell you guys who actually was in this movie because it's great. The 1999 version. And it had Alicia Morton to play Annie. And she's so good. Oh my god. Kathy Bate, Kristen Kenwood, Victor Garber, Alan Cumming, Andre McDonald. McDonald. When Andre McDonald, Andre McDonald is like my favorite person. Same with um, Richard Carver, Alan, um, Andrea McArnold, Sarah, Hi Ooh, Sarah Highland, 
They're highlight indenting guide. Hmm. Okay. And yeah. You guys, I love this movie. It actually talks about Christmas and the end of the and the end of the movie. So it fits in Christmas. So well. And you guys, the love that you see Victor Garber end up having for Annie and the nine and then they're going out around town. Like and why he what is it about you? You guys, it's such a good movie, and Annie, oh my god, it's like a classic, like Little Orphan Annie, oh my god, it's, this version you guys, so good, you've never seen the Annie 1999 version, go look it up, this is what it looks like, hold on, let me find the picture, um, this is the 1999 version, I'll put a little image right up there, um, but, so good, you guys don't know the Annie story, you, 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 where we were living, everybody knows the Annie story. Um, but it's just heartwarming and heartwarming and the music is great, the acting is fantastic. I love this version. I haven't seen the like, latest version, which had, I don't even remember what the latest version was, but the one like last couple years. Um, because I am such a fan of like this 1990 version. I literally have it on DVD. I didn't have like a cassette that I wore, I wore out. But was it any cassette I wore out? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I guess that I wore out. Because I love Annie so much. And yeah. And then the fact that I'm not saying Daddy more vibes and his assistant or whatever she was, Audrey McDonald's character, like fall in love in the end and they all become like a family and he adopts Annie and he finally gets her family. Oh my god. I love it so Great, you guys. These are just some great classic movies that I've been talking about in this um, video. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any favorite Christmas movies that I should watch. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.